Good afternoon and welcome to my channel. This is another little unboxing or unbagging. This is five uh, special diamonds rhinestone kits to add to my in-between collection. Um, again, size not so much matters. These are all 30 by 30s. These are all under five dollars each Australian. One, two, three, four, five. Let's set these aside. See what I've got. This is a little dragonfly. Typical boat seems to be standard for the rhinestone kits, pen, small ba wax bags and green tray. This is seven colours, inventories, top and bottom corners, which is nice. We have one which is a purple. Oh, not, not much purple on that side around. Let's try that side. Uh, two is a pink double ended oval. That must be three. Three is a blue teardrop. Four is a green round gem. Five is a blue round gem with the silver backs. Six is a royal blue round gem just to give you an idea of the colour. Oh. There you go. And seven is a yellow. Alright. <sighs> Quick pick. I need to be able to see the colours a bit better in that. Again, size, I say, doesn't really matter, but it looks like a 25. Yeah, at a bit of a stretch, it's a 25 square. And that goes to one side. Next one is... Where is the opening? This is a girl riding her bike. Ten in this. Interesting. They use letters, or there seems to be an awful lot of letters throughout the kit. Ah, uh, the sun is a symbol. Really large symbols on the infantry in both the corners. You can see the symbols are nice and clear. Big beads throughout this same toolkit. Okay, not in any particular order. This is four, it's a pale orange. Same colour as my nails. Seven is the tiniest purple teardrop. Uh, you're going to have to make do with a photo on that one. Ten is those yellow 
pearlescent flowers. Six is that's kind of a purple on orangey, and then it's got some green tinges, pearlescent that's faceted. Two are tiny round gems in pink. Six are some more tiny, tiny teardrops in a yellow. See some of the colours there. No, not six, that's nine. Stickers upside down. Three is a silver rhinestone. One is a yellow rhinestone. Small round. Five is a large clear faceted round. Try to get the shine off the bag from my lights. And eight is a red teardrop. The eight is a tiny green symbol. Where are you? Oh, they're the flowers. Okay, so they're going to go on the flowers. Butterfly is going to be the yellow gems and the silver. What else? Sun is silver in the sun rays. The flowers around the bikes. So they are A, H, T and K. 10 is K. A, H and T is 4, 5 and 6 of so these larger gems. And yeah, the little tiny ones. Yep, three of them, the green, blue and the pink are all the flower petals. So it's going to be really cool. Quick pick. And you can see the enlarged. Now, what store? These work from Leijing store, and as you know, I'll pop the link in below in the description. The next one. This is like crazy town. Look at 12. Alright, a much busier kit. Um, the trees, the buildings, the flowers down the bottom and the flowers up in the sky are all gemmed. Uh, let's see, here we go. Alright, 12 is a green double-ended oval. 11 is a purple round facet. 10 is slightly smaller. It's clear but it's got a bit of the green facet. Nine. No, that's... Hmm. That says six. Okay, yeah, we've got them right. It's a green gem. Seven is a 310. Boring. Black. By comparison. Eight is a small round facet in a green. Nine is a orangey peach round facet. Five is a green round rhinestone. Four is a blue. Very pretty blue. Three is yellow rhinestone. Two is red and one is silver. Snap. Just to give you an idea. If you haven't worked with special gems before, the um, normal drill pens oh, 
The normal drill pens are good for the rhinestones. The larger rhinestones or beads are better with tweezers. This is one of the Four Seasons type trees as I call them. This is the pink version. I think I've got all the other Four Seasons colours all in this small size too. Um, I think the idea was to have like a collage of all of them. And then there was one that had all Four Seasons in one. And slightly bigger. So um, This is pink. love how these come kitted with Ziploc bags. Seven in this one. This is kind of like a cherry pink. Four is a red rhinestone. Seven is a large round dome in a pinky kind of colour. Lots of that. Go. Seven is black, goes on the trunk. Five is a very pale pink. Two is a double ended pink. Shine off. And one is a silver with a bit of a greenish blue facet. There you go. Uh, another little pick for you. Um, And onto the final. I didn't find this um, particularly sticky. They're sticky enough um, that you can move your gems around. In fact, I think I found that my gems slid when I did my first rhinestone picture. And this is my sunburst. Same toolkit. Alright, 13 colours in this one. Wow. Okay, this is like one of my other videos and it had the beak with the multi-gem diamond or special drill. This is um, like a paisley teardrop with three different kind of layers. That would be M, so that would be the big ones. Nope, not even M. That it is H, which is just inside. Okay, 11 is a blue faceted teardrop. Gorgeous colour. 13 is another multi faceted, mu sorry, multi layered gem, which is even larger. That's the M, that's the one on the outer edge. 3 is a blue. Ten is a faceted wool clear, so it's kind of silver back. One is a clear round rhinestone, silver kind of in the end. Seven is a round facet clear. Five is a pale blue. Eight is a gold dome with a gold back. So it's literally just a blob of gold. Nine is a white dome in the pearlescent finish. Two is a yellow rhinestone. Blue for the four. 
blue rhinestone. And nine, wow, is gold. There's a bit of junk in there. Uh, round, large round bead. Nine is A, so it's the center of the sun. That would be six, then. There you go. So lots of golds in this one, and blues around the edge. Let's see if I can get these in. Quick pick. And there you go, five quick kits for the in-between project. Um, everything good to go. Um, yeah, yeah, they don't come, I suppose, with everything that you'd need. You would need a set of tweezers to be able to do them much more easily. What I found with the drill pens is there just isn't enough guts on the wax to lift the heavier gems um, so you need the tweezers um, and the tweezers are quite easy to manipulate for the gems um, so um, yeah some nice in-between kits I've got um, how many more to come after that I've got one two three three more rhinestone kits to come for my in-betweens that's heaps to keep me going. Um, so yeah, just a fun little quick um, DP to do. Um, the kids may benefit if they want to do more as well. Um, they're nice and quick for kids too. Um, so yeah, thank you for watching. Have a look at my uh, other videos if you would like to see my other rhinestone kits or if you wanted to see any of the um, other unboxings or unbaggings that I've got in my videos. Thank you for watching. Bye.